So moving back through is the option for web event tracking. So this is a really great tool to be able to uh, track some customer activity on your website, uh, to be able to know uh, if customers you know, are visiting certain pages of your site, if they're maybe you know, abandoning their, your, the cart, uh, not making those purchases. For example, I've got all of this stuff uh, in my cart, and if I didn't complete this purchase, I could be reminded of that automatically. Uh, and be able to actually see if I visited an interesting page, but then you know didn't go to a, the next you know page after that. Let's say I viewed, you know, the special promo uh, page that was set up, but then I didn't actually you know go to the purchase page. I could actually you know remind someone about that as well, or send someone a specific offer because they viewed our cupcakes page, for example. So all you need to do is just check this box and click save changes, and then we will start be able to track customer activity on your website. But of course you need to just remember that these people would have to be already on your get response list because uh, we have to have a way to actually be able to you know connect uh, these people and be able to send them messages they have to already be on your get response in your get response account. So this would be tracking customer activity of those customers who are on your get response list in your get response account and then the activity that they're uh, making all along your site and the sites they're visiting. And then our next and final tab is landing pages. So this is where you can actually publish GetResponse landing pages on your WordPress site. So this is really cool. You do not have to code or you know, alter your theme uh, to be able to add uh, a page to your site. Because if you've got GetResponse landing pages, you'll see I've got quite a lot of them, <laughs> but you'd be able to actually, for example, create you know, maybe a holiday offer, a guide, something like that, and be able to uh, automatically have this be within your WordPress domain from within your WordPress account. So what you would do is just set it up, uh, set up your page, create your landing page and get response and save it. You know, maybe it would be to promote a webinar and you want that to be on your WordPress site or, you know, some other kind of lead magnet, just any type of page that you would like to be able to set up. You would just create and get response and then just choose add page and you just need to select a landing page let's say let's pretend it's this kind of new download uh, lead magnet that I'm working on and going to be promoting on my site you can see that the URL you can configure so this is my domain and then I can add it and then whether it's published click Save and you can see now this is a part of my WordPress site domain and a page that I can you know disable enable whatever I need to do so now this landing page that I created in GetResponse is now part of my you know, WordPress site domain. So it's a really cool way to continue building your list and also easily add pages uh, to your WordPress site that you create in GetResponse, which is really cool. Run the A-B tests, all of the features that you actually have within landing pages. Um, you'll be able to you know, do that within WordPress because they're GetResponse landing pages.